going on guys? So today I want to do a little comparison footage between the Lumineer Axi and the new Lumineer Axi 2. Let's get straight into that. So Lumineer just dropped the Lumineer Axi 2s and I want to go ahead and test them against the tried and true Lumineer Axi. And I figured what better way to test it than, you know, getting out and doing a flight. Uh, the issue that came up was, well, how do I test that? Because I only got a pair of fat shards. So I went ahead and put together this rig. These are the FX508 monitor. They're a, a five inch monitor. And again, I'll do a review separately on these. But what's cool is these are a diversity DVR monitor that comes with a sunshade. So that's a thing. So then I went on BH Photo and then this is a, I believe this is a 14. Yeah, this is a 14 inch camera plate. Um, I can put this in the links below if you're interested. Uh, you can find it and grab it there. And these things, they, they come right out and they're designed for a pair of goggles. And I guess these fit into a pair of go box goggles, but I'm not interested in that. Um, but what I am interested in is the fact that they have the DVR and their diversity. So my plan is to set this up and give you guys a side-by-side -side flight while these are recording uh, the same flight. So over here, I've got the Lumineer Axi. These are the older antenna, the, like I said before, the tried and true. And then over here, we have the brand new Axi 2. And I understand that usually you put one of these with a patch antenna, but you know, these are gonna receive in the same circle. So it really, it really doesn't matter. Um, I just put them on there just for the sake of putting them both on there and we'll see how they output. And you know, because these are diversity monitors, I, I'm not entirely sure what they do to the signal. So I didn't want to like leave one off and leave one on and you know, have one output differently than the other. So there's that. This is going to be transmitting at 200 milliwatts with the Lumineer Axi. This is the old one. I'm not gonna swap this out and test the other one. Just, I think the receive DVR side by side will work. If I go ahead and change this and do two separate flights, well now you're looking at two separate flights. I want a side by side comparison for you guys so you can make the decision which antenna is best. So with that, let's show you the rig and get this thing in the air. All right, so here's the setup. It's just on a tripod. I've got the two monitors. Uh, got the Lumineer Axi, the twos, and the regular Lumineer Axi, the older ones. The two monitors, the monitor plate, and this is sitting up on the tripod. And these monitors are powered. These monitors are powered off of XT60s, so I went ahead and made this Y splitter so they can power off this same battery. And I'm powering this off of 1800. This is a uh, your standard tattoo, and that'll hang nicely right there. As I am going to be you know, kind of looking in this general direction. I'm going to be flying this way and those antennas are set up this way so they're going to be receiving equally all four uh, and i'm just going to go kind of fly away for a moment we'll check it out right we're ready to go
So I'm ripping through this footage and I really do not see a discernible difference between the old axes and the new Axie V2s. I mean, maybe there's a split second where the newer ones give you just a little bit more picture before the screen goes blah, blah, blah. But I really don't feel like that's much of a difference in a selling point. Now, that doesn't mean these antennas aren't better or worse. I still feel like the new ones have an advantage over the old ones. See, the old ones, if they take a prop strike or they hit the ground or something like that, the old style, the top comes off. So now you need to buy separate tops because you're quite likely going to lose the top that comes off. It just clips on there. This newer style, it's been heat sealed, so it won't come off. I mean, if it does, your antenna is probably destroyed anyways. And I did see a couple of pictures on the internet showing what the inside of one of this antenna looks like, and it is indeed destroyed. So. There's that, so we don't want to do that. But they do look a little bit tougher. They look way cooler. They're nice, shiny, whatever. But I'm going to leave it up to you. What do you think is the best antenna? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think the new one is better because of that seam sealed and because it gives a little bit better range? Or do you see the other antenna actually giving that little micro bit of range? Let me know. So if you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button. And if you haven't done it already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button because you only get to do it once and it's fun and I'll catch you later. Peace.